Uh, about Colin Ferguson, the man who shot a Jamaican, uh, African, bla a black male who shot six people on the Long Island train. Mr. Muhammad speaks. Well, they set black inmates up in these jails and penitentiaries, and in particular there in Nassau County, and pulled all the black officers out and the in black inmates so they could jump on Brother Colin Ferguson because they were mad with him for catching the Long Island train and killing all them white folks. I love Colin Ferguson. I have no official position, so I can say I love him. You love a man who randomly killed six people on a commuter train? I love Colin Ferguson just as much as the masses of white Americans love General Schwarzkopf, General Westmoreland, General Patton, General MacArthur, and Eisenhower. America awards her killers, and they get ribbons and stripes and bars. I'm sensitive to the pain and suffering of the loss of life on that train, but I'm one of the rebellious slaves. And so when black people stand up out of pain and suffering and frustration, I understand after 500 years. You also, uh, you talk about, uh, you talk about the uh, response of some uh, African Americans to, uh, for example, the book which... Uh, attempts to prove that the Jews are involved in the slave trade. I'd be happy to let them see that. Um, you talk about uh, when white folks can't defeat you, you said in your speech at Cain, they'll always find some Negro, some boot-licking, butt-licking, buck-dancing, bamboozle, half-baked, half-fried, sissified, punkified, pasteurized, homogenized nigger that they can trot out in front of you. I would ask you, Mr. Muhammad, is Jesse Jackson a boot-licking, homogenized nigger? Yeah. To the best of his ability, I believe he tries every day to do that. Here you are, uh, here you are mocking uh, Jesse Jackson at a speech, uh, I believe this is Howard University. Roll the tape. Oh, boot-licking, buck-dancing, scratching, shuffling, Messy Jesse Jackson, who keep, who keep. I am a somebody. I am a somebody who keep hope alive. I am a somebody. I don't rightly know who the hell I am, but I am. Somebody. Yeah. Um, it, are you an entertainer or are you a committed person to uh, black people? I'm so glad you asked that question. I believe that the liberation and salvation of the black nation must be brought about by black people gaining a thorough knowledge of self after our 500 to 6,000 year Holocaust where we have lost over 600 million. And so I believe that that education process must be a process of two steps, inspiration and information. So I seriously give information, but black people are a people of rhythm and spirit. So I also give inspiration. <laughs> From your speech at Kane College in 1960, uh, Chief uh, Luthuli, the head of the ANC, received a Nobel Peace Prize, you reported to your audience, reminded them, for nonviolent struggle. Yeah. Just like Mandela just received it with F.W. de Klerk. How could you stand with your oppressor and your enemy and receive the Nobel Prize for nonviolent struggle? You have, uh, you do not uh, support then uh, Nelson Mandela's uh, strategy in the struggle? to free black people in South Africa? Let us first of all for, uh, be very clear here, Phil. Nelson Mandela is my brother. 
So he is, Jesse is a Jackson. member of the family, and so is Jesse, and Jesse is a very brilliant man. We just want him to return home and stop being used by the enemy and the oppressor against his people. Now back to Brother Nelson Mandela. And certainly we can never mention Nelson without mentioning Winnie Mandela. But Nelson Mandela's attempt at a multiracial government in South Africa after the murder of men, women, children, and babies, and the rape of South Africa, a criminal settler colony that has been established like Israel yes, there in that part of the world. I cannot go along with one man, one vote. Let me say why. If someone broke into your home, Mr. Donahue, and actually bum-rushed your home, and black boots stomped your door down, and came in and robbed and raped everyone in the household, and was able to take the wealth of your home and parlay it into an empire. This is an invader. This is an intruder. This is a murderer. This is a burglar. This is a criminal. So I ha you have no responsibility to share your home with them after they broke in and committed the crimes that they did. You want... Uh, you, you said about South Africa, we give him, that is to say, white people, mm. 24 hours to get out Get out of town by sundown, that's all. If he won't get out of town by sundown, we'll kill every white that ain't right that's in sight in South Africa. We kill the women, we kill the children, we kill the babies, we kill the blind, we kill the cripple. We, we kill them all. We kill the faggot. We kill the lesbian. We kill them all. You say, why kill the babies in South Africa? Because they're going to grow up and oppress our babies, so we kill the babies. Are you seriously presenting yourself as a man interested in the future of your people with this kind of rhetoric? I'm just as interested in the freedom of my people as I am in the self-determination or the Kujichagulia, self-development, them being self-defining, self-respecting, and self-defending. If the white man has killed millions of our people, and you cannot deny right. the undeniable and indisputable and irrefutable truth fact, proof, and history of their bloodshed there in South Africa. I said it would be merciful if they would leave. I don't agree with a government, a sham government. No man walks out of prison after 27 years and becomes the president unless there's a script and a plan behind the scene to remove the economic sanctions from whites in South Africa. But no real plan for redistribution of the wealth. The Oppenheimers, the De Beers, and others, they're sucking the blood of our people. So I said, be merciful. Give them a period of time. 24 hours. Truman, Truman gave the Japanese a period of time. But when they didn't comply, he dropped the bomb on men, women, children, yes. and babies. I make no apology for that statement. I believe that the invasion of South Africa was an act of unprovoked war. One nation against another nation. And nations must fight for the self-determination. They had no business there, Mr. Mm -hmm. Donahue. Yeah.